I'm John Holdren, President Obama's science advisor, here to talk about the third U.S. National Climate Assessment that was released today. This assessment is the most comprehensive and authoritative account ever about how climate has been changing in the United States, how it's projected to continue to change in the future, and what can be done by public officials, planners, businesses, and individuals to reduce its impacts. The online report provides unprecedented detail on every geographic region of the United States and all of the most affected sectors of the national economy. And the contents confirm that climate change is not a distant threat. It is affecting the American people already. On the whole, summers are longer and hotter with longer periods of extended heat. Wildfires start earlier in the spring and continue later into the fall. Rain comes down in heavier downpours. People are experiencing changes in the length and severity of seasonal allergies, and climate disruptions to water resources and agriculture have been increasing. Across the country, regions are experiencing climate change in different ways. For instance, communities in the Northeast are affected by heat waves, more extreme precipitation events, and coastal flooding due to sea level rise and storm surge. In the Great Plains, rising temperatures lead to increased demand for water and energy and impacts on agricultural practices. Drought and increased warming in the Southwest foster wildfires and increased competition for scarce water resources for people and for ecosystems. Scientists who study climate change confirm that these phenomena are consistent with the ongoing changes in global climate, which we know with very high confidence are being caused mainly by the increase of atmospheric carbon dioxide and other heat-trapping gases released by human activities. When President Obama launched his Climate Action Plan in June 2013, he made clear that the information in this new National Climate Assessment would be used to inform efforts at the federal, state, and local levels to increase preparedness for and resilience against the impacts of changes in climate that can no longer be avoided. I urge you to explore the assessment and to get informed about the climate change impacts underway in the regions where you live by visiting whitehouse.gov slash climate change.